Hi, good morning everyone. Just a quick post as I'm drinking. This is the highlight of my day, I think. I just love my morning coffee. You know, it's nice to meditate, but that morning coffee taste with milk and sugar and then that little uh, high you get for two hours afterwards, it's hard to beat it, you know. <laughs> so I wanted to do a little post about one of the, I believe, the... Um, the belief that when you take up spirituality or when you have some very powerful spiritual awakening or healing experience that you become superhuman and there's plenty of books that will back this up we have these visions of what it is to be a buddha floating around or a christ or a saint or a or a you know a great shaman and we tend to build up this picture of absolute perfection somehow jealousy fear insecurity all those things are no longer there. But for me, I think it's been the opposite way round. <laughs> it's almost sometimes one of my early teachers used to say, when the light comes in, it exposes the darkness. In other words, the more that we raise our consciousness, our perception, our, our, our capacity to look deeply within ourselves, the more we see these deeper levels, what they call in East or in the yoga system as samskaras. In other words, we reach a moment of enlightenment. And then I heard this uh, Shav, um, he's from the, the, the Shiva tradition. I think it's Shavanism. It's one of the, the traditions of mysticism in India. You know, he described it that... We, we have these moments of enlightenment when we go, oh, this is it. We're now, we're completely now, we're, we're free of ourselves. Maybe we have a medicine experience or a kundalini experience or a yoga experience, an awakening, and suddenly it's like, oh, I get it. And then the problem many of us face is that we think we're done. And so then usually early on in our spiritual quest, we build an artificial self around that called the spiritual ego. And we think, oh, I must be enlightened now. So we put on spiritual clothing, we adopt a spiritual name. And then we start to see at some point that we're not done. And so we, a lot of teachers at this point from what I witness over the years is they, they then suppress that shadow self because now they might have some followers. May, maybe they've got some income stream coming in or they've written a book based on their experience and now they have to try and pretend that they're that enlightened self and that, you know, everything gets buried. And then you hear these terrible stories about these so-called enlightened beings who are ripping people off, sexually exploiting people, you know, not dealing with this humanness that's, that they've suppressed. And anything that's suppressed, you know, turns, tends to turn into a monster, anything that can't be explored and, uh, and looked at. So what I say is you don't become superhuman. The job is to become a superhuman. <laughs> in other words, to be embodied in yourself. And it's not that you don't feel fear and hatred and anxiety, as I've said before. Sometimes they be may become more present to you. But when they start to become more present to you, as you start to heal and release these karmas and samskaras, what you are given is the tools to deal with them. And you stop putting them in charge of your life. You know, someone who suppressed them, they, they, they look all light and shiny, maybe say all the right things, but they ex you can feel around them there's something not right. There's some behavior patterns that are completely out of alignment. And, and we make up stories, oh no, they're, they're doing this for my higher good, or they're, you know, they're, they're testing me, or you know, they're, they're, it causes confusion. So my advice is don't look to become superhuman. That can be an ego trap. Look to become a super human that means someone who's completely as fragile as messed up as everyone else but has the capacity to deal with that to deal with their shadows to be present to it to to learn how to heal this stuff with compassion and wisdom and and uh, presence that's the path not to float around in heaven but to be grounded on the earth uh, with everyone else going through all the same stuff but with slightly more peace and centeredness. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.